As part of the annual point-in-time count, council members joined volunteers to get a snapshot of individuals and families experiencing homelessness in Montgomery County. It's not too chilly. We joined Council President Evan Glass in downtown Silver Spring for this annual census. And I don't know if I asked you all before, have you done, done this before? No. 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 What made you want to participate tonight? You know, help out where we can. That's right. You know, it, it is one of the most impactful things I do every year. Mm -hmm. And it's just walking around and you're, you're seeing who's out here, who needs our help. Being able to provide them with a bag with, with some utilities mm -hmm. to it mm -hmm. and then just confirming so that after the Department of Health and Human Services can come back, we know where they are and then they can offer more, more holistic care right. for them. In 2022, 581 people were counted as homeless, which was down by 31 percent since 2018. Uh, the Housing Justice Act, which at its fundamental, we have to recognize that housing is a basic right. Council President Glass, a proponent of ending homelessness in Montgomery County, introduced a legislation that would help reduce and eventually eliminate homelessness. It was recognizing that people who experience homelessness sometimes are uh, arrested or go through the criminal justice system for being homeless and they get to a point in, in life where they're able to find uh, or apply for rental housing, but because they have an arrest record for that victimless, homeless associated crime, they're actually denied housing, yeah. which is one of the worst ironies, like a catch-22, uh, catch exactly. We later joined Council Vice President Andrew Fritzen in downtown Bethesda. I need, I need three of you to come with me. I think we'll search the garage. Uh, we, we can come where he and volunteers we'll were combing through the streets, parking lots, and stairwells. Check to see if there's anyone in the stairwells. The stairwell's empty, so we just checked from top to bottom and uh, nobody's here. In search of folks who might need assistance. Right now, a uh, gentleman was not interested in speaking with the team who went out to interview him, and so uh, he's still captured in tonight's point in time count, uh, but as an observation, not as an interview is really a powerful opportunity for us to come together as a community to shine a light on homelessness in Montgomery County. Uh, we uh, have found five people and including one who uh, I think for the first time we're able to engage. Uh, he needed some medical care uh, and so we're going to send a team back uh, with a nurse. This one night in January provides council members the opportunity to get an understanding of what the county needs to do to provide support. We can't address the challenges that residents are facing if we don't know where they are and if we don't know what they need. The data collected from the surveys will help Montgomery County's effort to end homelessness, with each count getting us closer to that goal. Uh, and too many residents, unfortunately, who are experiencing extremely challenging circumstances and who are uh, experiencing homelessness.